Hey guys, welcome to the 150th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to continue showing you how to overload operators. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and an item class. And inside of your item class, just make sure that you have a public integer property. Um, mine's just called price. And these operators that we've overloaded in the past, you don't need to have these in your class, but um, these are just ones that we overloaded in previous tutorials. So in this tutorial, we're going to be overloading the less than sign, the greater than sign, and the less than or equal to sign, and the greater than or equal to sign. And just like the equal and the not equal sign, these two go together. So that if we overload one, we must overload the other. And same with these. If we overload the less than or equal to, we must overload the greater than or equal to. So first, we're just going to be overloading the uh, less than sign. So just like always, we're going to have to say public static. And since we're checking to see if an item is less than um, another item, we're just going to be returning a bool since there's only one of two options. It can either be less than or it can't be. So we're just going to say bool here. And since we're overloading an operator, we're just going to say operator. And like I said, we're going to be overloading the less than sign first. So we're just going to put less than sign. And then we're going to put in our parameters right here. And the first item will we'll just be an item. So we're going to say item. Uh, let's call item 1. And this is the object that will be on the left side of this uh, less than sign. And for the other side, it will be the item that is on the right side of our less than sign. So we're just comparing two items here. So I'm just going to say item, and I'll call it item 2. All right. And we must return something here, and we're going to be returning a bool since we specified bool as a return type. And since we're working with bools here, we can just use ternary operators. So we're just going to say return, and then we're going to say if item one's uh, price is less than item two's price, then return true. Otherwise, return false. So. If item 1's price and item 2's price are the same, or if item 1's price is greater than item 2's price, then it's going to return false. But if item 1's price is less than item 2's price, then it will return true. Alright, and just like I said before, since we um, overloaded this less than sign, we're going to have to overload this greater than sign. So if I try to debug here, I'm going to get an error saying, yep, I must overload this uh, greater than sign as well. So I'm just going to type public static bool operator and oh god all right so we're going to have to overload the greater than sign and just like before we're going to have two items we're going to be comparing two items so item one and another item item two all right and then we can just use ternary operator again so we're going to say return um, if item one's price is greater than item 2's price, then return true. Otherwise, return false. Alright, so now we should be all good here. So now if we create two items up here, let's call it item 1, create a new item, and item 1's price, I will set equal to 3, and then I'll create another item, item 2, so we can Compare these two items, and then I'll set item 2's price equal to 6. So right now, item 3's or item 1's price is less than item 2's price. So we're going to say if item 1 is less than item 2, then we're going to have a message box saying um, item uh, 1 costs less than item 2 because this will only return true if item 1's price is less than item 2's price and since it is we should get um, this message box right here alright so now in the debug we should just get item 1 costs less than item 2 yep and since we overloaded the greater than property as well this will work just the other way so we can say item if item 2's is greater than item 1, then we can say item 2 costs 
more than item one. All right, so now when we debug here and click this button, we should get a message box saying item two costs more than item one because item two's price is six and item one's price is only three since six is greater than three we should, we're going to get this message box saying item two costs more than item one yep and it's basically the same thing for the greater than or equal to or the less than or equal to so if we were to just replace this um less than or equal to with or it's just this less than sign with the less than or equal to sign and replace the greater than sign with the greater than or equal to sign then we'll get the same result and since we haven't overloaded this method it won't work so we're just going to have to put the equal sign there since I just changed it so it overloaded the greater than or equal to sign and now since um, item 2 is still greater than item 1 we're going to get item 2 costs more than item 1 but it could also be the same price and say or item 2 is the same price as item one. All right, so now we debug here. We should get this message box because um, item two uh, is prices is six, and item one's price is three. And since six is greater than three, we're going to get this message box. Yep. But it could also be equal to. So if item two's price was the same as item one, so if item two's price was let's say three, then we will still get the message box because they're equal to this time. Yep, or item two is the same price as item one. So, perfect. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So, see you guys.